Hi everyone, I'm Amanda and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this crochet baby romper for a newborn baby. This romper is part of a baby set which includes a little bonnet, some baby booties and a little teething toy. You can find all the free written patterns for these items on my blog. I'll put the links in the description box below. If you have a look at the description box below, you'll see that I've divided this tutorial up into sections. So if there's a particular part of the video you need to revisit later, you can click on the timestamp and it will take you straight to that part of the tutorial. I've got a separate video in how to make the little rose and the leaf so that you can decorate your romper once you've finished it. I'll put the link to that video in the description box below. For this baby romper I used Paint Box Yarns Baby Double Knit which is a lovely blend of acrylic and nylon. It's a great yarn for baby clothes as it's so soft and it has a lovely drape to it. And for the hook, I'm using a G hook, which is four millimeters. To begin, make a chain of 37. For row one, I'm going to make one single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So counting one and two, we're going to make one single crochet into that second chain. I'm then going to make another single crochet into the following chain. And another single crochet into the next chain. And for the remainder of row one, I'm going to make one single crochet into each chain until the end of the row. I've come to the end of row one and you should have 36 stitches. To begin row two, we're going to chain one and turn our work. We're then going to make one single crochet into the next two stitches. So your first stitch will be here, which is at the base of the chain one. We'll make one single crochet And then into the following stitch, we'll make another single crochet. We're then going to make an increase. So to make the increase, we're going to make two single crochet into the next stitch. So into this stitch here, we'll make one single crochet. And then back into that same stitch, we'll make another single crochet. And this is going to be the row repeat. So it's going to be one single crochet in the next two stitches. So one, two, and then into the next stitch, two single crochet. So one single crochet, and then another single crochet into the same stitch. I'll do this one more time. One single crochet into the next two stitches. One. And two. And then two single crochet into the next stitch. So there's one single crochet and then another single crochet back into the, the same stitch. And you're going to repeat this all the way along to the end of row two. I've just worked my last two single crochet into the same stitch. And at the end of row two, you should have 48 stitches. For row three, we're going to chain three. So one, two, and three, and then turn our work. 
and the chain three counts as your first double crochet. We're then going to work one double crochet into the back loop only of the next two stitches. So into this stitch here, we're going to work one double crochet through the back loop. We're then going to work another double crochet into the back loop only of the next stitch. So going into the next stitch through the back loop only, work one double crochet. We're then going to make an increase and to do this we'll make two double crochet into the back loop only of the next stitch. So into this stitch here, into the back loop, we'll make two double crochet. So there's one. And then into that same stitch, we'll make another one. So there's two. We're now going to work on the row repeat. So to begin this, we're going to make one double crochet into the back loop only of the next three stitches. So we'll make one double crochet two and three So there's one, two, three, all made into the back loop only. The next thing we're going to do is work two double crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch. So going into that back loop, work one double crochet, and go back into that same stitch into the back loop, make another double crochet. And this is going to form the row repeat. So it's going to be one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. One, two, three, and then two double crochet into the next stitch. So repeat this row repeat right across to the end of row three. I've just come to the end of row three and I've made my last two double crochet into the back loop only of the last chain, of the, la of the last stitch. At the end of row three, you should have 60 stitches. For row four, you're going to chain three and turn your work. And the chain three counts as your first double crochet. We're then going to work one double crochet in the next three stitches. And we're just going to work through both loops as normal this time. So make one double crochet in the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. We're then going to work two double crochet into the next stitch. So one, and then another one into the same stitch. That's two. We're now going to work on the row repeat. So to begin, we're going to make one double crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. We're then going to make 
two double crochet into the next stitch. So one, and then another, another one into the same stitch. Two. And this is going to be the row repeat. So let's make one double crochet in each of the next four stitches and then two double crochet into the next stitch. And you're going to repeat this sequence all the way to the end of row four. I'm at the end of row four and I've completed my four double crochet and I'm now going to place my last two double crochet into the last stitch and it will be in the top of the chain three here. So I'll insert my hook and make two double crochet in here. And that's the end of row four. You should have 72 stitches. For row five, you're going to chain three, turn your work, and you're going to make one double crochet in the next four stitches. So make one, two, three, and four. You're then going to work two double crochet into the next stitch. So one and two. We're then going to start on the row repeat. So to begin, make one double crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. And then make two double crochet in the next stitch. One, and two. And this is going to be the row repeat for row five. So it's one double crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. And then two double crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to repeat this all the way to the end of row five. I've come to the end of row five and again, I'm going to work my two double crochet into the last stitch. So in this case, it will be the top of the chain three. So go into the top of that chain three and make your last two double crochet in the same stitch. And that's the end of row five and you should have 84 stitches. For row six, we're going to chain three Turn our work and then we're going to make one double crochet in the next five stitch stitches. So one, two, three, four, five. We're then going to make two double crochet into the next stitch. One. And two. We're now going to work on the row repeat. So to begin, we'll make one double crochet in the next six stitches. So one. Two. 
three, four, five, and six. We're then going to make two double crochet in the next stitch. So one and two, all in the same stitch. And this is going to be the row repeat. So it's one double crochet into the next six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two double crochet into the next stitch. And you're going to repeat this sequence all the way to the end of row six. I've just finished row six and I've worked my last two double crochet into the top of the chain three. To begin row seven, we're going to chain three and turn our work. And for this row, there's going to be no more increases. So what we're going to do is we're going to work one double crochet in each stitch along to the end of the row. So make one double crochet in each stitch and I'll meet you at the end of row seven. Once I've done that. I've just finished row seven and at the end of this row you should have 96 stitches. For row eight it's exactly the same as row seven. You're going to chain three, turn your work and you're going to work one double crochet into the top of each stitch until the end of the row. At the end of row eight, this is what your work should look like. You can see that we formed the yoke of the little romper. Moving on to row nine, this is where we'll form our sleeves. So we'll chain three, turn our work, and then we're going to make one double crochet into the next 11 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Next, we're going to skip the next 22 stitches. So skip two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, 18, 20, 22. And then into this stitch, we're going to make one double crochet. Like so. And then we're going to make one double crochet into the next 27 stitches. I've just worked my 27 stitches and including this first one that we made here, you should have a total of 28 stitches for this section here. We're then going to skip the next 22 stitches. So two, 
4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. And into this next stitch here, we'll work one double crochet. And then I'm going to work one double crochet in the next 11 stitches. Which will take you to the end of the row. I've just finished working my double crochet stitches to the end and you should have 12 stitches in this little section here. What we'll do now is we'll join both sides together so we can begin working in the round. So we've got this side here with our hook and working yarn and we want to join the two sides together. So this is the chain three that we made at the beginning of the, the row. We're going to make a slip stitch into the top of the chain three to join. Like so. And we'll just make sure that the sleeves are turned out the correct way and this is what your little romper should look like at this point so you can see that we've formed the sleeves and we're now going to move on and we're going to work the middle part of the romper to begin round 10 we're going to chain three and turn our work. We're then going to make one double crochet into the top of each stitch. And I'll meet you when we arrive at the sleeve section. I've arrived at the sleeve section here and you're just going to work one double crochet into each stitch at this point. I've just arrived at the second sleeve, so again you're just going to work one double crochet into each stitch. You can see there's a sleeve there, so just work one double crochet into the top of each stitch. And continue making one double crochet into each stitch until you get to the end of the round. I've nearly finished working all my double crochet stitches. I've got my chain three here and you can see I've got one stitch left so I'll make one double crochet in here and then to join the round I'm going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three And that's the end of round 10. For rounds 11 to 18, you're going to repeat round 10. So chain three, turn your work. And it's the same as round 10. You're just going to work one double crochet into each stitch all the way around. And at the end, you should have 52 stitches. 
So work your one double crochet into each stitch all the way around for rows 11 to 18 and I'll meet you once I've finished working this section of the romper. I've just come to the end of round 18 and I've worked my last double crochet into the last stitch and I've cut my yarn and I'm just going to pull the yarn through. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to make an invisible join to join the round. So to do this, thread your yarn onto a tapestry needle and then you've got the beginning chain here. Come over to this stitch here and insert your needle under both loops. And then come back over to this last stitch and insert your needle through the back loop. Pull the yarn through, give it a little, little tug and you can see there that I've created the invisible join. So it gives it a nice neat finish because we'll be working into these stitches when we work the back lower part of the romper. And you can see that this stitch sits over the beginning chain here. This is what your little romper should be looking like at this point. We're now going to begin working on the back lower part of the romper. So to begin this section, make sure that your romper is positioned like this in front of you. And we're going to be working along 27 stitches along the back. So I've put a marker in the first stitch and then I've put another marker in the 27th stitch. To begin working on this section, you're going to come over to the first stitch, remove the marker and attach your yarn with a slip stitch. And we're now ready to begin working on row one. So to begin row one, you're going to chain one and then you're going to make one double crochet two together over the next two stitches. So begin the stitch here in the same stitch that we just attached the yarn. So make your double crochet two together And then make one double crochet into the next 23 stitches. I've just worked 23 double crochets and I've come to the end of the row or nearly to the end and I've got two stitches left. So into these two stitches, I'm going to make one double crochet two together. Just remove that marker. And finish it off in that last stitch there. And that's the end of row one you should have 25 stitches in total. To begin row two, you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're then going to work one double crochet two together. So into that same stitch, the first stitch, start your double crochet two together You're then going to make one double crochet in the next 21 stitches. Two 
I've just worked my 21 double crochets and I've got two stitches remaining and for these last two stitches I'm going to work one double crochet two together. At the end of round two you should have 23 stitches in total. For row three you're going to chain one, turn your work and then begin by working one double crochet two together. You're then going to work one double crochet into the next 19 stitches. I've just finished working my 19 double crochets and again I've got two stitches remaining so I'll make one double crochet two together over these last two stitches. And at the end of row three, you should have 21 stitches. For row four, begin by chaining one, turn your work and then make one double crochet two together. and then make one double crochet into the next 17 stitches. I've just finished working my 17 double crochets and into the last two stitches, I'm going to make one double crochet two together. And at the end of row four, you should have 19 stitches. For row five, chain one, turn your work, and then make one double crochet two together. And then you're going to work one double crochet into the next 15 stitches. I've just finished working my 15 double crochets and I've got two stitches remaining. So I'll work one double crochet two together into these last two stitches. And at the end of row five, you should have 17 stitches. For row six, chain one, turn your work, and then make one double crochet two together. You're then going to work one double crochet into the next 13 stitches. I've just finished making my 13 double crochets and I've got two stitches remaining. So again, I'll work one double crochet two together over the last two stitches. And at the end of row six, you should have 15 stitches. For row seven, you're going to chain one, turn your work, and then begin by working one double crochet, one double crochet, two together. And then you're going to work one double crochet into the next 11 stitches. Once you've finished your 11 double crochets, make one double crochet two together over the last two stitches.
and at the end of row 7 you should have 13 stitches. For row 8, chain 1, turn your work and make 1 double crochet 2 together. And then work one double crochet into the next nine stitches. I've just worked my nine double crochets and I've got two stitches left so I'll work one double crochet two together. And at the end of row 8 you should have 11 stitches. For row 9 there's going to be no more decreases. So to begin, chain 3, turn your work and this chain 3 will count as your first double crochet. So we're then going to work one double crochet into the next 11 stitches. So into this next stitch here and make one double crochet into each stitch along to the end of the row. At the end of row nine, you should have 11 stitches. Row 10 will be exactly the same as row 9. You will begin by chaining 3, turn your work and then work one double crochet into the next 10 stitches. When you get to the end of row 10, don't forget to place your last stitch into the top of the beginning chain 3. So make my last double crochet into the top of the beginning chain 3 and that's the end of row 10 so you'll have 11 stitches in total. And then because we finished this part of the romper you're going to cut your yarn and then chain one and pull the yarn through to, to fasten off. And this is what your little baby romper should be looking like at this point in the pattern. We're now going to start working on the front lower part of the romper. So we'll attach our yarn in the first stitch here and you'll have 25 stitches and this, these are the stitches that we'll be working into for the front part. We'll attach our yarn to the first stitch. So you can see that we worked into this last stitch here. So we'll attach our yarn into this first stitch. And then we'll chain one. We're then going to do a double crochet two together. And then we're going to make another double crochet two together. We're then going to work one double crochet into the next 17 stitches. So work one double crochet into the next 17 stitches and I'll meet you at the end once I've completed that. I've just worked my 17 double crochets. 
and I've got four stitches remaining. So I'm going to do one double crochet two together. And then into the last two stitches, I'm going to work another double crochet two together. And that's the end of row one for this front part. You should have 21 stitches at the end of this row. For row two, chain one, turn your work and then make one double crochet two together. You're then going to work one double crochet into the next 17 stitches. And I'll meet you at the end once I've worked these 17 stitches. I finished working my 17 stitches and I've got two stitches remaining. So into these two stitches, I'll work one double crochet two together. So into that last stitch there. And that's the end of row two. You should have 19 stitches in total. For row three, chain one, turn your work and work one double crochet two together. And then work one double crochet in the next 15 stitches. I'll meet you at the end once I've worked my 15 double crochets. I've worked my 15 double crochets and I've got two stitches remaining. So over these two stitches, I'll work one double crochet two together. And at the end of this row, row three, you should have 17 stitches. For row four, chain one, turn your work and work one double crochet two together. And then for this row, you're going to work one double crochet in the next 13 stitches. I've just finished working my 13 double crochets and over the last two stitches, I'm going to work one double crochet two together. And at the end of row four, you should have 15 stitches. For row five, chain one, turn your work, and then make one double crochet two together. And then you're going to work one double, cro one double crochet into the next 11 stitches and I'll meet you at the end once I've done that. I'm at the end, I've just finished my 11 double crochets and over the last two stitches I'll make one double crochet two together. And at the end of row five you should have 13 stitches. For row six, chain one, turn your work and work one double crochet two together. And then work one double crochet in the next nine stitches. I've just worked my nine double crochets and I'll make one double crochet two together in the last two stitches.
and at the end of this row you should have 11 stitches. For row 7, this is the last row and this is where we'll make our buttonholes. So to begin, chain 3 and turn your work. And the chain 3, it counts as your first double crochet. We're then going to make one double crochet in the next stitch. So in here. And then we'll chain one. We'll skip the next stitch. So skip this stitch. And then into the next two stitches, we'll make one double crochet. So one and then two. We'll then chain one, skip the next stitch, and then in the next two stitches, we'll make one double crochet. So skip this one and then put one in here, and then one into the following stitch. We'll then chain one, skip the next stitch and then we'll make one double crochet into the last two stitches. So skip this one and then make one in here and then one into the last stitch. And you can see that we formed the three buttonholes. Now that we've finished the front part of the romper, all we're going to do now is grab your scissors, cut your yarn and fasten off. So chain one and then pull the yarn through and then weave your end in. This is what your baby romper should be looking like at this point. So we've finished the lower part now and we'll move on and start working on the frilly collar. To begin on the ruffled collar, make sure that the back of the romper is facing you and it's positioned like this. In the third row, we worked through the back loop only. So working into the back loop created a little ridge of raised stitches here, the, the front loops. So we'll now work into these exposed front loops to create the frilly collar. Starting in the first loop here, We'll attach our yarn with the slip stitch. And then we'll chain three. And then back into the same loop that we attached our yarn, we'll work two double crochet. There's one and then two. And the chain three counts as your first double crochet. So we've got three stitches in, the, in that first loop. We're then going to move on to the second little raised loop here. And we're going to work three double crochet in here. So there's one two and three and then what you're going to do is you're going to work three double crochet into each of these little raised loops all the way along. I've just worked three double crochet 
into each little loop. So you, you can see the ruffled collar here. And I've got one loop remaining at the end. So I'll just work three double crochet into this last loop. And that's the end of row one. For row two, you're going to chain three and turn your work. And then for this row, you're just going to work one double crochet into each stitch. So the chain three counts as your first double crochet. So you're going to pop your next one into the top of this stitch here. And I'll meet you at the end of row two, once I've worked all my double crochet stitches. So for row three, chain three, turn your work and work one double crochet into each stitch all the way along to the end. And once you've finished row three, you'll cut your yarn and fasten off. I've just finished working row three and I cut my yarn and fastened off. And this is what the collar looks like once you've completed it. You can see, see all the little ruffles. We're now going to work some simple edging along the back opening. So starting down here in the left hand corner, you're going to attach your yarn with a slip stitch. Chain one. And then make one single crochet in the same stitch. We're then going to make a chain of four. And then back into the same stitch, we're going to make one more single crochet. And we've just formed a loop for the button that we'll attach later on. We're then going to single crochet all the way up the left edge here. So we'll put two single crochet at the end of this row here. And then another two here. then two in here two in here another two here I'm then going to make one single crochet in here, just below the, the collar. And then I'm going to chain four. And 
single crochet back into that space. And that's the second buttonhole, button loop made. So there's your first buttonhole down here and the second one at the top. I'm then going to make one single crochet here and we've arrived at the top of the, the neck edge. So I'll place two single crochet in the corner here and then working all the way around the neck edge I'm going to place one single crochet into the top of each stitch around. So work one single crochet into each stitch all the way around the neck edge and I'll meet you once I've completed this part. I've worked stitches all the way around the neck edge and I've come to the last stitch. So into this one I'll work two single crochet and then we'll work single crochet stitches all the way down the right edge uh, down to the bottom here. So work single crochet stitches evenly all the way down to the bottom. When you get down to the bottom and have worked your last single crochet stitches, you just have to cut your yarn and fasten off. And then weave in your end. Once you've finished crocheting your baby romper, all you need to do is sew some buttons on at the bottom and at the back here. You'll sew one button here and then one button here at the top. And you can also keep it plain or you could make this little rose. And I made a couple of leaves just to add a finishing little touch to it. I'll just show you for the, the bottom fastening area. I just sewed the buttons here in the middle of these, these two last rows. And then you just need to fasten it up. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos that I upload. Thanks for watching.